It's one of Kansas City's greatest mysteries. What happened to baby Lisa? She was 10 months old when she vanished. The case became nationwide news. Monday marks 10 years since her disappearance. Investigative reporter Angie Ricono sat down with baby Lisa's parents to discuss the case. I know it's been 10 years. How do you guys reconcile 10 years? It's been a long time and it's been hard on all of us. Um, but you know, we just, um, we try to keep her around. We talk about her frequently. Um, we still do all the things that we think we would do if she was around. It kind of feels like you've won this giant prize that you don't want. Like, oh great, we've made it to 10 years. Like, how much longer are you gonna have? We gonna have to keep looking for her and living, trying to live lives without her. Deborah, what about you? Because I know nine, all, all of the years are hard, right? Does 10 feel any different? The 10 year anniversary, it's just a reminder that we've gone a decade without seeing our daughter. We don't know what she looks like. We don't know where she is. We don't know who she's with. So it just reminds me of everything that we've missed and um, that the older she gets and the longer that it takes to get her back, she, the harder it's gonna be for her. So when she does come home, it's gonna be everything we've ever wanted. But for her, it, her being as old as she is now, I think it's gonna be extremely difficult for her to grasp what's happening. The Kansas City Police Department considers this an open investigation. It's now with the missing persons cold case squad. If you have any information, they ask you to call the tips hotline.